Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Mark Timberlake back with a brand new video on the extinct or er, exotic, I bet, exotic animals channel. But extinct is actually a great segue into this video. So, I don't know if you guys know my passion for animals or not. I, obviously, you know I have somewhat of passion for them. I mean, I got alligator heads, I keep insects as pets. Yeah, I'm kind of labeled on the crazy side. But that doesn't bother me, cause you know everyone's a little bit crazy, and uh, you know it's weird to be it's weird it's weird to be completely normal and super smart. You know, like I'm smart, but in a crazy sort of way. In my passion for animals, you could say. Now, my brother, he's a completely different story. By the way, he has a channel called Flipping Bro. Make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. My other channel and my filmmaker's channel, Mark Timberlake Filmmaker. Make sure you go subscribe to her too. We post dope content and awesome videos on every single one of those channels, so make sure you check them out. Anyways, today, like I said, Extinct was a perfect segue into this video, and that's because I don't know how you guys know what my passion for extinct animals are, but here's what I look at. Every year, 2,000 animals are deemed extinct worldwide, but the process we use to determine an animal extinct is an inexact science. So, basically, if no one's seen it for a while, they declare it extinct. 2,000 are deemed extinct every year. But, every year, animals are found that were thought to be gone forever. Like, Formosan clad leopard. Everyone thought it was extinct. They found one not too long ago. Formosan clad leopard is still alive. It lives about 12 to 15 years, which means they've been reproducing for quite a while. Um, you found the white wolf. They thought it was dead. Found one a while back. A couple of them, actually. Like a male and a female, I think. They believe that's what it was. They believe the Formosan Cloud Leopard was a female, too. Point is, a lot of animals are going extinct worldwide. That's not good. But, there are some animals that may still be out there. So I'm thinking of doing a couple of these videos where I talk about maybe just the animals that people think are extinct... Or have been deemed extinct that I think are still out there or might still be out there. And then I want you guys to also comment down below if you think they're actually still out there or not. So I'm going to start with one that I've been, an animal that I've been fascinated with since I ever first saw it and heard of it. It's called the thylacine. That's a scientific name. You guys may know it better as a Tasmanian tiger only on the island of Tasmania. So they were said to go extinct. Jeez. And they were said to go extinct a long, long time ago due to people inhabiting Tasmania, farming and killing them because they were killing livestock. But there's been a lot of reports of Tasmanian tigers sighted. Here's what... Obviously, eyewitness accounts are good, but since they can't exactly be confirmed, there's not, there's not a guarantee that what they saw was actually a Tasmanian tiger. It could have been a dingo. Now, when you look at it, I'll give you I'll give you a couple eyewitness accounts I've heard. Um, one man believed down near um on the island of Tasmania, down near the coast, his dog started growling and barking. So he wondered what it was about. So he went outside. He saw four pairs of glowing red eyes. So that's supposedly he saw, and he believes he saw stripes as well. So, four Tasmanian tigers. Now, could they have been dingoes? Yes, they could have. Does that mean that what he? Does that mean that they weren't Tasmanian tigers? Absolutely not. Does that mean that if I went down there to Tasmania and I started looking, would I find Tasmanian tigers? Does that mean I would find one? Absolutely not. But there is a chance. There's been multiple sightings of them. One time, there was um a family of two in Tasmania. They were coming home from a long trip. It was the middle of the night. All of a sudden, they slammed on the brakes. Five to ten feet in front of them, in the view of their headlights, they said were three Tasmanian tigers. A father, a baby in the middle, and a mother following closely behind. They stopped and looked at the car, and then disappeared in the night. They believe that what they saw were Tasmanian tigers. I believe this sighting was in 1996, so quite recent. And I believe the other one I just told you about was 1997. So, given they were supposed to be extinct way before 2000... Let alone the fact that they were found maybe 
give 25 years ago. They were supposed to be extinct for a way much, way longer time than 25 years. So given that they were found 25 years ago, that's a good sign if what they actually saw was a Tasmanian tiger. And there's been multiple reported sightings of Tasmanian tigers still popping up. Also, you gotta look at the thylacine here with a very important thing. They've found multiple kills. Big prey, they found, one time there was a wallaby found, and it, it was bitten at the throat when pipe crushed, which means it had to be a big prayer, boom, nail the wallaby. And when they found it, it was still warm. Whatever it was that killed it had sensed the people who were searching for it coming, searching for the thylacine coming, and got away. And left, got out of there, disappeared. Now, does not mean it was a thylacine? Absolutely not, because dingoes have the same attack style. But, it could have also very well have been a thylacine. So, the point is, more and more reasons for this animal to still be alive are popping up. Plus, with hundreds of thousands of square miles of just straight up brush in Tasmania, the Australian bush, of course people don't know what's out there. Animals can stay hidden in there forever. Like in Madagascar, Tasmania, every year they're discovering new species that aren't even in science. Because anything can be hiding out there. There's been sightings recently of, within the last 20 years or so, of pelts of certain animals, just pelts left there. Wallaby pelts. That's completely uncharacteristic for a devil. Dingoes don't do that. Only thing I can see that being is a thylacine. One time they went down into a burrow and they found bones. Now the bones were bleach white, which meant whatever had been there hadn't been there for a while or that kill was not fresh. But dingoes don't normally leave bones and neither do devils. It's completely uncharacteristic. So the fact that there were bones also suggests that a thylacine probably was down there at one point. Depending on when, not always easy to determine. You need to take the fossils and the bones in, look at carbon dating. Point is, I believe that the thylacine is still alive. I don't believe it's dead. I believe there's plenty of places for it to hide. So when you look at it, you need to look at it like this. There's tons of there's tons of bush left. Thylacine could very well still be alive. I don't know if it is, but I hope it is. I'm looking to do some other animals that I think are still alive. Even though they've been deemed extinct, I want to talk about a couple other animals that could still be out there that I believe are still out there. And my hope myself one day is to actually be able to somehow go to Tasmania and look for the thylacine if they don't discover it before then. Now, just because I'm going to Tasmania and there's been sightings of it, does that mean I'm going to find a thylacine? Absolutely not. But is it a good sign that there's been more sightings and more facts popping up that they could be alive? Yes. Absolutely, because with all that, there is still a, I'd say, a lot of people say it's gone for good. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance at least that it is still alive. But that's my belief. I have a passion for it. I don't want to believe it's extinct. There's some animals out there, though, that we just have to accept are extinct. And if I go looking for them and I don't see any signs, then I'm going to have to accept that they are extinct. But I'm not at all, by any means, counting out the thylacine. I don't think I ever will. And you know, I'm going to be honest. Every year, like I said, animals that are deemed extinct worldwide are that are thought to be gone forever are found. One man discovered a coelacanth 66 million years after it had been deemed extinct. So in that fashion, you got to look at it like this. Oh, man. If he can discover it 66 million years after... It was thought to be gone forever. What else could still be out there that we haven't found? Now, by that, I don't mean like there's some elusive T-Rex out there. No, that thing got killed with the asteroid or meteorite or whatever it's called. I don't mean there's like there's not like any dodo bird out there or megalodon out there. I know they believe it, megalodon, but no, no. There's, there's no megalodon out there. Trust me, guys. You guys are safe from megalodon. There's no, like, there's no megalodon, no mosasaurus, no T-Rex, no dodo bird, nothing like that. But there very well could be some other animals. There very well could be. Anyways, guys. Wow. That was exotic, what we were just talking about. But, uh, yeah. I got merch. If you want to cop it, hit me up. Instagram, AskaniMark82. Snapchat, Mark underscore Ascani 20 It's been Mark Timberlake. Rock on. Wow. That's exotic.